I, I totally get the feeling of being a perfectionist because I, I was a perfectionist and um, I still, so I still sort of have those tendencies. Yeah. But one thing I've learned from YouTube is that perfectionism is the enemy of, of, of everything of, of, you know, of like, of like, because the most important thing by far is trying to figure out what people are interested in. You know, like that's like when you can figure that out and you can like go in and drive home on that particular point, like that's when you can build a business, you know? Yeah. And, um, so, so, um, so I'm, so I'm like, yeah, that, that's kind of how I did it with my YouTube videos. Like I was like, all right, you know what? That first prank YouTube video that I did of me speaking Chinese was like the shittiest video. It was horrible. When I posted it, when I like the audio quality was terrible. Like the, it was blurry. Like you could barely see people's faces. It was just like so shitty. And literally I almost didn't post that video. I, I almost didn't post it. I was like, I was like, who's going to watch this sucks. Like we got to remake this. But you know what? I was like, maybe somebody's going to be interested in it. You know, let's just do like MVP here. And I just posted it. And that video has 6 million views now on, on my <laughs> YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, like, like it just shows you that, that, that it's, it's so much more important to try to get things 80% right than 100% right. Yeah. I've, I've, I've two more questions. Um, yeah. So, I mean, Launching a course has, has various benefits, right? Like one benefit is, of course, that you get to finally make some money, but you also yeah. get to learn about your customers, right? Who are the people who, who respond to your offers, who buy? Who are the people who, who and, and what do they want? What have you learned about your audience so far? Uh, I mean, your clients so far. Yeah. Um, no, like, this is it, another it, crowd than what you had in mind or... It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit different. It is actually a little bit different. Like, okay. so I've actually been teaching Chinese courses for, for a long time, like for the past three or four years. I don't think we've talked about this, but I, um, I've been teaching Chinese um, on a volunteer basis, yeah. um, you know, just in, um, in a nearby uh, middle school. And um, for, for mostly for like a, um, for a mix of like Chinese Americans who are, mm -hmm. who are interested in learning Chinese. Um, like they, they may have relatives who speak Chinese, but they themselves grew up in America. They don't speak any Chinese. Um, and for non-Chinese people who are just interested in, in learning the language, maybe they have Chinese relatives who they want to learn Chinese with. And so when I started doing this course, I was assuming I would get a lot of interest from people who were like, Hey, I want to learn Chinese so I can speak to my relatives. Um, very few, very yeah. few. The majority of people who want to learn Chinese with me are people very similar to, to me 10 years ago. Uh, like people who are like, I want to learn Chinese because it would be so damn cool yeah. to be able to speak Chinese, yeah. you know, like that, that, that was me. That was me 10 years ago. Like I, I wanted to speak Chinese because I was like, wow, holy shit. If I could speak this language fluently, like that'd be I could start really a YouTube cool. channel. I could, I could, I don't know what I could do. I could do something, <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, I, I, I was just interested in it, you know? And, um, so I'm finding a lot of people who are, who are like me and I'm like, wow, like that's so cool. And it's cool for me too, because I understand them in a, in a, in a, in like a different way. Like I don't, yeah. I don't understand the experience of having Chinese like relatives who I can't speak Chinese to, you know, but I can understand the experience of really wanting to learn Chinese because it's cool as hell, you know? <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah. So it's, 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 it's really interesting. So no. that's really good to know because now next time you send out an offer or you write a sales page, you know who you're writing it for, right? You can right. talk about their ambitions yeah. and their pains and their... Exactly. It's exactly. going to be so much more powerful. So. Yeah, totally, totally.